A whole bunch of y'all have asked me what trade copier I use. So I just wanted to make a quick straight to the point video just answering that question for you. This isn't going to go into how to download it and blah, blah, blah. It's other videos for that. I'm just going to give you my quick reasoning for why I chose local trade copier. Uh, you have to go to mt4copier.com and uh, that's where you can get local trade copier. This is for MT4 and MT5 users only. I do not use TradingView. I know nothing about TradingView or how it works. And, you know, so I, I can't speak to that. But for anybody who does use MT4 and MT5, I do believe this is the best trade copier that you can use. And here is my main reason I chose this one. The pricing just made way more sense for me. Uh, as you see here, no per account fee. The more popular trade copier is social trader tools. Uh, the pricing on it just didn't make sense for me. Uh, it is per account. It's $20 for no more than two accounts. So if I want to trade three accounts, I got to go ahead and get this $60 plan versus on local trade copier. It's $19 a month for unlimited accounts. I trade four accounts on my copier right now as of the making of this video. Um, I don't trade my personal account with my copier, but all of my prop firm accounts uh, are on the copier and that's four accounts right now. So $19, four accounts versus $60 for the same thing. It's a no brainer for me. And now if you're using TradingView, then I don't think you have a choice but to use uh, social trader tools or one of the other copiers that I just don't know about. These are the only two I know about, um, but I do know that there are some other copiers out there. Um, this is just my choice. Also, aside from the price, I will just kind of give you an, a little bit of an insight of how I mean, just so you can see like it does work really well. Um, the way that the copier works in general is that you're going to have a master account, which this is my, uh, I use just one of my accounts as a master account. You have to have one of your pairs dedicated to the copier. So like AUD, NZD, I don't trade that pair. That's just something I pulled up so I can drag the copier onto it. Uh, you would pull the copier from your navigator screen. Um, you would download either a server or a client. I have both of them on this account. I don't need both of them per se. Uh, the server is going to be your master account. All I did was took the server and drug it over onto AUD and ZD uh, to open up my master account. So this is what I actually take my trade on. My other accounts, I drug the client on, you know, just a random pair. And then those client accounts, you know, whatever I take on my master account, it just goes over to my client account. So for example, if I open up, say, and this is a good way to test your copier. Don't open up an actual trade. Uh, you can just put a buy limit in. So I'm just going to put like a 0 0.01. Um, I'll take and put a buy limit in and you'll see it copies to everything just like that in less than a second. Also, if I exit out of it, it exits out of all of them pretty immediately. The other thing you can do, let's put another buy limit on here. Um, <clears throat> So let's just say I want to only take profit on one of these. Uh, all I have to do is turn my cop. So how this auto trading thing is on right here, for example, I would go over here and turn auto trader off. Okay. And then I'm going to go back over here and now let's exit out the rest of them. So I'm, I'm exiting out of three of them. This one, I turn my auto trader off though. So it's, it's not exiting out of the trade as well. So that's just a simple way that you can keep a trade open on one account. Like if you want to continue to try to get profits on that account, but secure everything else, that's how you do it. You just got to turn the auto trader off on that one account. Also, you can change the value. Um, so like this account is double the size of this account. So that's why when I put a 0 0.01 on this one, it put a 0 0.02 on this one, uh, the way that 
copier is set up. It definitely does the math for you. So if you do have an account that's half the size of your master account or double the size of your master account or the same size of your master account, it will do that math for you. So if I put a, you know, 0 0.01 here, you know, put a 0 0.02 over here, since this is double, or you do have the ability to adjust the risk on the account. So if you wanted the uh, copier to copy over to a different account, but you don't want it to equal the same risk level, you can change that. You would just have to go into your, uh, go into your client settings. Uh, you would go into the inputs tab and change the money management value. So right now it's set to one, which means it's going to equal exactly what the master account is doing um, for your account size. Uh, you could also with auto adjust to account size. You can change it here as well. So you could either change it where it's the same lot size as the, uh, the master account. So now no matter what lot size I put on the master account, that's the same lot size that's going to show up on all my client accounts. That's the gist of local trade copier. Like I said, I'm not going to go into super detail. I'm just answering the simple question, which is what trade copier do I use? Um, I hope that helped out for anybody who is a MT4 or MT5 user. I'm strictly MT4. That's all I've ever used. That's all I know. So, uh, there you go real quick though. I do want to shout out Hanko trade. This is my broker of choice and the broker I recommend that you use, check out the link in my description and definitely use that to sign up with Hanko trade. It will help my channel out. Uh, as you know, I don't charge for anything like that. So, you know, all I ask is that if you do decide to trade on a personal account, choose Hango trade through my link and that'll just show me some support. Uh, but as you see, you do have spreads from zero pips, 500 leverage. The commission is really tiny. It's $2 per standard lot and you only need $10 to deposit. So definitely check out Hango trade. But with that said, guys, I'll see you on the next video.